Education is a very interesting thing because we all went to school and we all have a view on it. Inevitably, our views are influenced by our school experiences. We remember our best teacher, that moment on the sports field and other such key recollections, whether happy or sad. At St Joseph's Roman Catholic High School, our view of education isn't so much looking to the past but to the future and making sure that we provide an education that is right for tomorrow. At St Joseph's, we have made the decision to take digital technology head on and not ban it. We feel that we should put it in the hands of our students and work with them in a collaborative way. In helping us to engage with this exciting technology in a way that truly supports teaching and learning so that the brave new world underpins learning rather than disrupting it, we have begun to pilot the use of digital devices in a number of classes across key stages. And although it's early days in the pilot, we're pleased by how iPads are being used to enhance learning. What we found using the iPads in class is that the, the pupils are very excited about the learning they're going to do. Initially, they're very excited because they're using technology that's um, you know, new and different for some of them, and also, obviously, for some of them, something that they're very competent with from home. But then, after that excitement about using an iPad fades, they're actually excited because they're doing something that they're very comfortable doing um, in order to learn in a way that's um, sort of new to them but um, they're learning the, the sort of techniques and in my subject they're learning the knowledge that I would really want them to learn. Um, when we use them in class they've been very focused on exactly why they're being used and it's not so much about oh let's have the iPads out because we've got them but let's have the iPads out because this affords a very special opportunity um, to work in a way that is more perhaps uh, modern and they're working with technology that you know, I feel we're preparing them for the world outside of school as well because it is the way that people use technology um, in the workplace and the technology that they've got in school can only be, you know, preparing them for the skills that they'll need um, as they go on into sort of young adulthood and adulthood. We understand that digital technology opens up a new world to our students that is very exciting and yes, they will need guidance in navigating it. But the world out there is fantastic and we have to realise that a function of a school isn't to view education as a child starting at three and then ending at 18, clap hands, job done, and off they go. This neglects the core reason that children are at school, that when they move on to the rest of their life, they are very well equipped because their lives and the opportunities they are going to be given will be exciting in ways that we can only dream of. Because the world, the technology and the world's changing, we should be able to be able to use laptops, uh, iPads, new technology, because I know a couple of people in my class, that's the first time they've ever had an iPad. So I think the school, if we have these, it would be good to um, teach students different technologies. Today we live in a digital world, and it's a digital world that has been a revolutionary force over the last 10 to 20 years. It's a force that will change the way we will be delivering education over the next 7 to 10 years. Yes we will still have to be able to read, write and add up. These are all very important skills. However, another layer has been added to learning because of the digital world we live in. This is an incredibly exciting time for St Joseph's. Education has all too often been left plain catch up with technology. This is the first time, certainly within my career, where I feel we are really at the forefront of technology and education. iPads allow our students to work in a way which many are already accustomed with. The world of further and higher education, and certainly the world of work, expects students to be able to utilise technology and modern ways of thinking and working, and it's our duty to afford our students these opportunities. With iPads, students can easily access and share documents and resources through cloud services. They can interact with teachers and fellow students through private and public social networks. Mobile devices give students the chance to be creative, resourceful and independent. 
I want this project to raise the level of digital literacy of students across the school and equip them with a set of skills they can take away with them when they leave. Um, the app is quite useful because you can, um, say with iMovie, you can make different movies and presentations. Um, like they've got quite few, like there's quite, like maths games and stuff like that, so you can practice your maths um, while you're waiting for the teacher to explain something or the task to you. Or um, maybe like if you want to do like a proper uh, a spider diagram or something like that, you could do it quite easily using one of the apps. So I really like to use GarageBand because it's more complicated than like challenges because at home I have an Apple Mac and I use iMovie a lot at home so I'd like to explore GarageBand a bit more because we did a little bit on it in year six. An iPad acknowledges that learning is 24-7. It gets away from the view that a school is like a big box and that you go into a little box that is a classroom. Actually, learning is anywhere and at any time and the iPad allows for the blurring of the edges between school learning and fun learning at home. It's like old-fashioned knowledge done in a fun way. It's very engaging. It's very inspiring.